Man, I wish there was a way to make my face less glowing white like this, but if I close my window, it's too dark and fuzzy, and if I leave it open, I get this, so I guess my little webcam camera will have to, uh, <laughs> have to keep showing off my glowing uh, incandescent face. So I did have a longer video made um, because I was going to show you guys you know, kind of how Soylent is, is, uh, is made, but I realized that it was quite boring. <laughs> you didn't need to watch me pour powder into a jug and shake it for, uh, for two out of five minutes. So I'll, uh, go over some of the basics, some of the things that I got with my first order of powdered Soylent. You don't get this with the, with the order of, uh, of regular liquid, the, the Soylent 2.0 in the little bottles. This is Soylent 1.5. Comes in these little little packages. It's like a like a weird kind of brownish powder, and you just pour that into the little uh, the little shaker jug they give you as like a gift for your first order. Um, it's pretty nice actually. It has like a like a spout um, kind of thing that's not part of the pitcher. It actually all screws off, and then you have a screw in top that seals it. And you unscrew it a little bit to pour out of the spout, but it also has this nice handy, handy handle, so you can shake it to mix it up. I've actually found that with some testing, the shaking just isn't doing it for me. I find it doesn't give a good enough consistency, which is one of the things that make soylent a little hard to uh, hard to drink sometimes. And the other things being, you know, the smell and taste, which aren't bad. And I'm getting more and more used to them, so I find them less less of a deal now. I just chug them down. One of the reasons why I find them less of a big deal now is because I make sure it's chilled before I drink it. I keep my fridge very cold, and then I put this in there and leave it there for a while after it's prepared before I, uh, I have my first meal out of it. And that's just because I find the cold soylent is a lot nicer to drink than anything kind of room temperature or only... Uh, mildly chilled with you know cold water from the tap or whatever my I got my roommate to try it last night and he his words were I think it's like they made Soylent and when they were testing it everyone was gagging so they dialed down <laughs> the taste until the first couple people stopped gagging he says it's you know right on the line between being gag worthy and not making you gag it's just just almost there <laughs> and he's right i suppose especially if it's warm um sometimes i think i i retched once when it was warm it was more of like a, a involuntary sort of thing i don't think it's really that bad of a flavor i think it's just you know i don't know even when you have the same thing the same meal over and over and over again sometimes you start getting sick of it it's kind of like that um, and just at that moment, the, the texture and the, the taste just kind of made me shudder a little bit. So yeah, I guess that's about it. Oh, I also got this fancy little metal scoop for half a serving of soil, which I think I'm going to use. I think I'm going to start trying to put this through a blender and doing like meal size things instead of doing the whole bag at once and doing a whole batch for the day. And then I can try doing different things with it, like maybe blending some ice so it's really cold or adding a banana or something so we'll see i'm going to do some experiments and see if i can try to improve upon my soylent experience while i'm stuck with it which may or may not go on for the whole month if i can answer all the questions i wanted to answer before then maybe i'll uh i'll break down and and quit early do up my final thoughts instead of just making you know pointless videos like 30 seconds of i had my soylent today nothing new to add <laughs> So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I won't see you, but you'll see me tomorrow. <laughs>